over four years ago, I drove out here and it was just an empty land. Who would have imagined from zero parishioner, now we have 4,000 families. So we were here the first mass and the level of energy that flowed through that school building. We were sitting in a hallway and I could still feel the Holy Spirit just moving through the people. There was a, a sense of enveloping as more people came, a sense of belonging. We chose St. Faustina as our parish because of the welcoming, energetic, faith-filled community that it is. I've met just so many new people here and they're always super welcoming and kind. One of my favorite things to do during the Eucharist, during communion, is to watch, and it's a parade of nations that comes through, and everyone is here worshiping together, which is beautiful. Our goal is to ultimately be able to welcome more students in, welcome more parents, welcome more adults in, to receive opportunities for formation and discipleship as well. This parish has grown phenomenally since its early days, and I think every time we have set about planning for how big we think we're going to be, we've come up short. The space we have available right now is not nearly sufficient to support all of the programs and all of the ministries that we would like to have. I have definitely seen the lack of space for Vacation Bible School. It got sold out, if you will, within the first few hours because there's such a need and a desire for all these children to be enriched in that way, but we just don't have the space to accommodate that many people. Es muy importante tener esta, esta expansión porque estamos creciendo. I mean, it's been amazing what's happened here in four years at St. Faustina. In, in a limited building, limited spaces, from the warehouse to the school to now this wonderful building that we have now, we've done a lot in that time. But we really need to move and be able to expand our facilities and resources so that we can offer more opportunities to get involved, to find ways to grow in their faith, to grow in their knowledge and participation in their faith. If we can achieve our goal, it will help us to pay down our current debt and initiate the construction so as to serve this rapidly growing community. I think the best part of our phase two expansion is going to be the ability to house everything that we need in one location and to be able to bring all of the community together in one place. So one of the best things that we have with this new building, which will be over 30,000 square feet, is the addition of 20 new classrooms that'll be able to serve all ages, from childcare all the way up to adult and parent education. The addition of space will help us with our family events, with our family programming, our concerts, events. We need more office space because we have a large and continuing to grow community that needs to have staff that can support them. We will have a room that can accommodate 200 to 300 people and even a playground for our children, which is very exciting. We'll also have the new rectory, which will have five bedrooms that'll house not only three priests, but two seminarians in faith formation or in formation for the seminary as well. And so to have Father's presence here during faith formation classes, during events, during just walking around and being present, it's very important for us here in the community to have our pastor here to shepherd us as his parishioners. By contributing to the capital campaign, you're increasing our capacity to bring Christ to people. Piensa que atrás de todo eso va a haber una persona que va a recibir esa ayuda, una familia que va a ser ayudada, un niño que va a ser sanado, un, un ser humano que va a aprender de Dios. I'm most excited about the young people. They just the, the potential there is there for them to learn and to actually carry on the church. I really don't think I would have found such a love for my faith if it weren't for the people here at St. Faustina. God has given us an opportunity to build his kingdom here. By giving to this cause, we are able to be the hands and feet of the Lord to welcome as many souls to take refuge in the divine mercy of Jesus. How amazingly God have grown and taken us in the last four years and I can't wait to see where he's leading us in the next four years.